I didn't actually apply because I wanted to just focus on playing at Evo and having fun. But uh, yeah, I don't we know. both look like snacks. We both look. I like, look. Oh, look, this is the yo, thing, bro. I look. Tight, tight I can. I probably. Thank I probably you. have like more. Thank you very much. For I have confidence. more meat on the bones. You're like the appetizer. <laughs> 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 I have more meat on the bones. This is just real fast. Yeah, dude. Like, sorry, skinny boys out here. Yeah, I'm. Skinny, I'm, I'm skinny boys. I'm the. I'm not like the, the eight ounce steak and potatoes. You, this the, the salad. Dude, you're making me hungry. Canes. I mean, that's literally the only thing that's going to be open. <laughs> When this is over, <laughs> it's not even that. It's like, not even I, a question. We just I, know. We just I like know. Canes. Like, I'm not, don't get me wrong, but it's like, dude, I'm, I'm over it almost. I'm from the 818, man. I can't, we don't have Canes. We have Krispy Kreme. That's the one thing we go to. Bro, that's, that's not even an 818 exclusive thing. It's what I'm saying. We about. have nothing exclusive. <laughs> anyway, Master Mario's back here with another wolf. This time, Charlie. Charlie, uh, higher ranked. Why did you Seattle. make it sound like he was going to give me another lyric? Like, it was rap. Master Mario back oh here. My oh, my God. Okay, yo, he was. In that neutral get up got blown back, dude. Dude, neutral get up versus Wolf when he just, like, has so many options to cover it. Seems like a really rough uh, thing to deal with. But, yo, there goes Charlie. Starting out really strong with the Wolf. Great parry mm -hmm. punish. I really love Charlie's Wolf. One of the more flashy ones, I I think. I think that's kind of like the signature Charlie style, like to be to be a little extra flashy, but also knowing like those style points are for a purpose. And yeah. sometimes, like we saw earlier today on stream, like he was able to get a kill off a of wolf wolf uh, wolf flash. Oh that yeah, has a Charlie. Point. Yeah. Oh my, the punish, the empty hop punish. Oh. See, that's the thing about Charlie. He goes for these unorthodox options when you think you're safe, and that's what he literally catches you on. He catches you slipping when you least expect it. He really knows how to use the speed of Wolf to his advantage, like the air speed of Wolf. Yeah. Makes the characters just look really tricky. Like that. Yeah, that was great. Movement, making it really rough to know when he's going to throw out a move or not. The drop zone there to catch the jump. Yeah, yes, that's the thing he could do. Did. Master Mario had the right plan, though. He threw in Fireball to cause Charlie to hold shield to stay on the stage, giving him time to come back. That's the problem. Was like Charlie was like, okay, I'll take the Fireball and I'd rather get the edge guard. I'm at high percent. I have risked nothing for this for this play. Oh, now Charlie's in a position where he can get a Wolf Flash to just kill. Even if he gets the Suicide, it doesn't matter because he has a stock advantage. So I'm looking for like a late Nair uh, side B or like a fast fall fair side B to get the stock. Potentially, anyway. It should still work around this percent. Even he, then, he can just, he's just playing so solidly that he doesn't even have to rely on like that to get this uh, stock, it seems. Let's see, though. Master Mario's no slash himself. Oh, man, the up smash to cover the ledge pressure. Or sorry, the... Uh, Platform pressure from Mario, up airing through the platform like that, kind of unsafe versus the Wolf when they're aware of it. Okay, combo time, nice, oh, yeah. nice. Oh, no big follow up from that. I thought he was gonna try to get like a reset from the fair. Charlie kind of holding back a little bit. I see this respect because he knows he doesn't want to lose himself in the sauce. He just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna slow my roll here. I have him at the high percent forward tilt, close the game, two Dude, stock. Max range F tilt. That. The range on that move is kind of insane for how strong it is and how quick it is. You know? Yeah. Good punish there from Charlie, though. He's so good at punishing neutral get up from the ledge. Like, we saw him get a clean down smash, slight charge, and you saw it right there with the F tilt. Yeah. He, he practices tech on his stream, man. Like, he's kind of one of those people, like, if I'm going to lab, I'm going to lab myself. I'm going to stream myself labbing. Yeah. So, like, you definitely catch him on his own stream, like, going for those options, practicing. I mean, it, it's a it pace. A player who knows is a player who grows, for yeah. sure. So, that's that goes to show. Yeah, that's something I always appreciate about Charlie. It's like he's always trying to find the next thing for his character, like trying to innovate and like push his character's meta game as much as possible. But here comes Master Mario oh, showing what these Mario why do you combos gentlemen, can do. Why do you gentlemen PS2, man? It does not look like it was the right opportunity to come back to the stage. Yeah, I mean, I guess Charlie was just confident because he won so dominant on this stage anyway. Confidence is a flimsy shield, my friend. Hopefully this confidence will pay off for Charlie. Maybe it might pay off for Master Mario. Ooh. Yeah, Master Mario is definitely starting out uh, swinging this game. And yeah, he did. Spot yeah. dodge up smash. Charlie kind of swinging a little bit uh, hastily there. It's caught. But there's the back air. Didn't catch the double jump. Oh, thought he could get the uh, drops on there to catch him. That probably would have been enough to send him far enough on stage to get the kill. But uh, let's see what Master Mario can do. Going for the up row, up bears. Nice. Charlie gets a oh, landing man. parry, but he doesn't yeah, parry the down air. Yeah, he doesn't parry the full multi hit of the down air. Charlie trying to get this comeback started. The parry, parry is one hit of the bayon, the bayonet. <laughs> it's actually funny because the blaster, the, the actual shot comes out first, then the bayonet. So like he only parried the shot, but not the bayonet. Yeah, yeah. Great up smash though from Charlie to get that stock, and uh, not too bad of a lead. 
Nice. This Spare is shoot to the up tilt. That's clean damage that you want to get from Wolf right now. Tech chase. Get him out there. Oh, Shots. he's playing so patiently. He's waiting for a Master Mario to just hold shield or something. I guess he got for his troubles. Nice. Nice. Reads the, reads the landing oh. option. Charlie was a little bit. Gets center stage. Looking That's for right. that spacing. Oh, and man. Oh, that was close. Almost. But unsafe jab. He's trying to match as hard as he can. He's thrown. Back at the ledge again. Where's he gonna go though? That's smart with pressuring. I saw that startup frame. Oh, the neutral grip doesn't get blown back. He's in so much a scary spot. He just jumps over him. He gets I like that. He he saw he saw the risk reward situation. It's not worthy trying to go for a back throw or even trying to go for a punish. Just take back center stage. You have high percent. What you want here is the ability to survive. All right, Lex. Yeah, Charlie's playing so patiently. He's working out for him really well. Wow, what a clean grab. He already knew he was just going to run and not press anything. Good space. He's looking for that forward tilt or the forward Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. I can't believe that up smash was like he had to block that. There was so much range on that. Sets up once more with the spacing oh and the up smash. That's, see, that's what I'm talking about. That spacing there was so immaculate because he had forward tilt ready. Mastermar was so conditioned to that that he went for up smash. And the one time he caught him slipping, Mastermar was not ready. Yeah, a really good comeback from Charlie. Kind of cover, you kind of forced Massimaro to pick the, the option that Charlie wanted him to pick. But Massimaro did a good job of keeping this really close so far. Yeah. Oh man, dropped his combo though. It's best of three here, so I mean, this will put Charlie at step point, or Massimaro will be able to walk away with another one. But we'll actually just a point on the board. Dash attack leaving a little bit too much. Oh, what a tag chase. Charlie. I don't know, that down smash. Man, that, he, he tossed in all the smash attacks. Oh, oh. oh, that was such a good fast follow up there. This wasn't the one he needed, though, to get the forward air, though. Okay. Spacing. Still, no. he's just throwing out these safe smashes on neutral ghetto because he knows if Master Mario just messes up like, slightly on the timing, he's going to get the stock. There he is. Now he's back at the ledge where he wants him. Yeah. covers the roll That's again. Same option. Well, you know what it was, too, as well? That scoop is no joke, dude. It's the fact that Master Mar had already seen two down smashes at the ledge. So yeah. he, he, he was thinking, like, he's not going to go for another down smash. He might be going for a different option. Then Charlie says, you know what? No, man. I have. You need to remember all my attacks. Yeah, it's just Master Mario was in a situation where he uh, knew he had to mix up his ledge option because he had done neutral get up, like, twice then. So he just did the roll, but then Charlie's is really good at reacting to that too. So he gets the up smash to cover behind him. That's really good stuff from Charlie. Mm -hmm. Got two clean stocks from that, and now he's one point away from sitting in the uh, winners finals against uh, the Nitro and someone. The winner of Nitro and someone. I, I don't know. I, I like Some know player, uh, Kiraflax. Kiraflax. There you go. Oh man, how can you forget Breakthrough 2019? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 know, I I'm thought he was your boy. I'm not worthy, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, I would really like to see Kiraflax versus Charlie in Winners Finals. That would be really interesting. But oh my goodness, that was smash or sorry, forward smash. Not being the sweet spot, keeping Charlie alive a little bit. Can you? you know, it's kind of weird that. Uh, oh oh God, yeah, that was nice. good. That was good. That was good. It's kind of weird that, you know, even when Master Mario's winning, it still feels like Charlie has control. Mm, he didn't He didn't get that the wolf angle down properly. Yeah. Now, that SD is good for Master Mario. He gives him an opportunity to, like, work with the lead a little bit and get some momentum in his favor. When, when, because, when you say know, Charlie uh, just looks way more uh, on point. Yeah, well, when you say about, you know, on point and Charlie, like, still looking not too far behind, I feel like the control right here is in Charlie's movement. Look, that, that, that movement that he has that just kind of come back from Smash 4 and being boxed, right? He kind of knows what options to pick at the ledge. He's not only that to use his movement to kind of like snuff what? out his opponent's approaches. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Miss input for sure. I don't think he won directional air dodge off stage with no double jump. He, uh, yeah, he did 33% at least, but it was a big combo from the, the platform Mario. extension, but he doesn't finish it off just yet. This could be a big in. one. Nice. Finish off the combo with the up B, just get the max damage. And that's a really good lead here for Master Mario. Leads can be taken away if you don't appreciate them. And so far, he tried to escape from the platform. Charlie looking to capitalize, but he missed the mark. Nice. So, B to catch the jump. Oh, man. He's trying to sneak in an empty hop back throw. Oh, he's looking for it. Nice. Oh, oh right in his face. No, wow. no hitbox. So, no shield. Just take it. So, that was pretty funny. Master Mario whipped a grab in Charlie's face, and Charlie tried to punish the whip grab. But then since he reeled back from the F smash, he missed Charlie's, or Charlie's punch missed, and he got a forward smash. Oh, Charlie just took this man around the entire stage of uh, PS2. 
Not smart. We're trying to get some whip punches here. See, if Charlie had played the last stock like this, we would be seeing a much different game here, but he tries to get it from the up B. That's not going to be it. Charlie. Yeah, Master Mario looking really good right now. Fourth throw. Oh, free cape. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's free cape. He kind of forced at the scenario because he knows nice. he was going for a side. Uh, we'll fire so many times. Nice. Clutch there from Master Mario, not getting 3 0 saying, you know, I'm on the PR for a reason. Highest ranking Mario in SoCal right now over Zenyu. Yeah. So, you know, he's there for a reason, man. He's putting in work. Showing that he can't 3-0 me in a winner semis for free. You gotta have to work for this win. So uh, let's see if Masamaro can actually bring this to game five. Or even potentially just win this set right now. And he did beat Kanon Wolf earlier, so he's no stranger to this matchup at all. He's just trying to get to, you know, Charlie's specific brand of uh, Wolf, mm -hmm. adapt to that. But we got Kalos now for Charlie's counter pick. Yeah, pretty uh, much FD. Pretty much FD with a different edge guarding because the platforms kind of allow different opportunities for the edge guarding to survive from the ledge. A little bit harder for Mario to get his platform extension combos, so I yeah. kind of see why Charlie would want this stage. And uh, the long like, pla base platform like is really similar to FD. And I think Charlie works really well in that type of situation. The one thing, like you said, where like he doesn't get too many platform extensions is like one of the like downfalls for Mario. But at the same time, like if he does have have one of the platforms at Kalos, like that'll really hurt. Yeah, he has to focus his like platform combos to like really far to the left or right though. Yeah. Nope. Uh, so he set up for the tech roll. Yeah, if he rolled into the dunk, man. Spacing? Again. Mm, oh. oh! No sweet spot again for Master Mario. Still, though, good position for himself here. Doesn't get the punish on that back he was looking for, and now Charlie sneaks in the up smash of his own good first stock. So good with that spacing and that movement. Bad throw. At this point, Master Mario, I was going to say, he wants to set up for that same scenario he had the last game where he's able to just frustrate Charlie from the oh, front. Oh, the again. slight charge messing up Charlie's timing and getting the stock there. Master Mario only taking 8%. You know what I feel what it was? He was accounting for spot dodge. That's what it was. Yeah. Because that, that's a habit that so many players have, and, and just about almost every level. That it, so when you account for that, you hold that smash and take advantage of that extra second you can hold it. Yeah, he can actually like punish the spot dodge too if he sees him go for it. He just release the up smash and get the stock. But Charlie sneaking in some good damage here. Oh man, still not able to grab that F tool even though it hit his shield like that. Alright, trying to go for a big combo here. Good DI from Charlie to go away from the platform. Yeah. Getting clipped by that up smash, he's not gonna die just yet, but he's got kinda got Master Mario on the back foot, has to retreat to the ledge. This Charlie's edge guard. Oh, oh, beautiful parry punish. Charlie did empty hop there to mess up Master Mario's timing, but Master Mario didn't fall for it at all. Oh, catches the roll with the smash. Okay, this is really good now for Master Mario. Starting to wake up a little bit here. Definitely not letting Charlie get away with this meat. The parry? Free, but yeah, I thought the up smash was coming from that parry. I respect it because the last time we kind of saw, we haven't seen the situation play out at all, but Charlie's oh, kind of playing a little bit safe. Back air. Back air. That was clean from the ledge. Definitely wouldn't see that coming. Oh, that was good. That was good. Good empty hop. He kind of wanted to have uh, Massa kind of guessing. Once oh. again, he kind of keeps oh that shield, the pressure. Dude, okay, he's just the up smash. But that was crazy that Charlie got a parry, sp specifically because his shield was so low. So he's like, dude, if I don't get a parry here, I'm going to get shield poked. Yeah. Still, though, drop the stock to the up smash. It's actually sometimes better to parry or just let go of shield instead of getting a shield break. Especially at high percents. Yeah. Oh, oh slight do it. charge. Charlie getting the JV to close out that set 3-1. Really clean stuff. And he's going to 